for me, a base layer is the most important piece of kit you can wear because the thermal regulation of your torso can make or break any ride. Like the Nursery Rhyme says, you don't want too hot or too cold, you want just right. So that means you need base layers to match both the weather and the tempo of your ride. And because the base layer is in full contact with your body, it's important that it also be comfortable and form-fitting. In the past 10 plus years, I've almost never clipped in without one, and I've used the finest that Switzerland, Sweden, and America have to offer, but none of them offer the level of comfort I've experienced with Jordanas. As you probably know, I worked for a fairly high-end bike retailer for many years, and I had access to astronomically priced gear, which I usually bought at not so astronomical prices. What you may not know is that I'm also a cheapskate. Well, let me rephrase that. I'm a value hunter. And if I can find a piece of gear that costs half as much and performs 80% as well as its more expensive counterpart, I'm hooked. And that, my friends, is why I have literally eight of Jordana's $25 dry release sleeveless base layers in constant rotation. Dry release is a proprietary fabric that's milled for Jordana in the textile mecca of Charlotte, North Carolina. That's right, it's made right here in the good old US of A. Dry release dries four times faster than cotton, but retains a soft feel for comfort. It's also very durable so that garments made with dry release resist pilling and won't shrink or lose shape. And it's treated with fresh guard to neutralize odor. It's a simple fabric and a simple piece of apparel. Is it as soft and as form-fitting as Jordana's velvety dry yarn lineup? No, but it's actually quite elastic and not the least bit abrasive. And over time, it begins to conform better and better to your body, like a pair of well-worn Levi's, only without the holes and the rips in the dirt. Here, look at these. The last one I bought was in 2010, I think, and I grabbed my first one in 2005 or six. The logos are a bit worse for wear, but I promise, they've seen no degradation in comfort or wicking ability, and I still wear them two or three times a week. So. Who's the target audience for this layer? Anybody, really. The new cyclist who's building a wardrobe to the guys like me who have kits coming out of their ears. The base layer is the most important piece of kit you can wear. And this one, it's always been my opinion that it's the best kept secret in all of cycling apparel. The performance to dollar ratio is simply off the chart. If you have questions about which Jordana base layers are right for you, please drop by your local retailer or use the dealer locator at www.jordanausa.com to find a shop in your neighborhood.